In my last video, I talked about an idea that would bring both the past and present elements together in MLP. With Twilight Sparkle's transformation into an alicorn, there are a great many new possibilities for stories in MLP's future. However, even with Twilight taking up a lot of the spotlight, there are still many other possibilities for the rest of the main six. After all, one of the biggest draws for this show is the fact that you have a large cast of characters that each have their own interesting quirks and ideals. And I'm sure that the writers can come up with many more stories to enjoy these characters even more than we do now. For instance, we have some interesting new possibilities for Rainbow Dash. Particularly in Season 3, Rainbow now has some new avenues for growth that weren't there in the previous seasons. From early on in the series, Rainbow Dash has had fans of all ages, and she shows us just how much she enjoys all the attention. However, it wasn't until Season 3 that Rainbow finally showed some genuine appreciation for anyone that has idolized her. Scootaloo has been a big fan of Rainbow Dash for a long while, and even tried to follow in her example by acting tough in the face of fear. But when Scootaloo finally confesses to Rainbow about her weakness, it was nice to see that Rainbow actually manages to open up to Scootaloo in return. This scene gave me a little more respect for Rainbow's character. But we have to realize that Rainbow's connection to Scootaloo has yet to be truly tested in MLP. Scootaloo had to go through a great struggle in order to confess her weakness to Rainbow, but there is still far more that Rainbow can struggle through in order to show her weakness to Scootaloo. Scootaloo idolizes Rainbow, and it doesn't seem like that will change anytime soon. However, Rainbow Dash is still a little self-centered. She has gotten better with her need for attention, but there is still far more that she can learn. Lauren Faust herself has stated that she didn't want Rainbow Dash to be Scootaloo's sister, as Rainbow Dash is really not the ideal character for being a big sister. We also have Rainbow Dash finally achieving her dream of becoming a Wonderbolt. Even though we have only seen that one episode of her becoming a lead pony at the Academy, there are still all kinds of possibilities for stories that could come from her journey of achieving her lifelong dream. But aside from Rainbow Dash reaching her goal of flying alongside the Wonderbolts that she has idolized for so long, we have to remember that there was another pony who was trying to reach that same goal. One who was able to match Rainbow's talents and drive to improve upon herself. Lightning Dust was able to get accepted into the Wonderbolt Academy just as Rainbow did. And she was able to break records and push herself even harder than Rainbow was willing to. It was unfortunate that her drive to succeed started coming at the cost of the other cadets. And it was certainly deplorable when she showed that her priorities for breaking records could have cost the lives of the rest of the main six. But I still find myself interested in Lightning's character. In some ways, she is even comparable to Trixie, in that they were both willing to go to excessive lengths in order to accomplish their goals. I do believe that Spitfire made the right choice when she put Lightning Dust in her place. But imagine for a moment if Lightning had been striving to become a Wonderbolt for as long as Rainbow did. She was able to accomplish some amazing feats, even managing to leave quite an impression on the Wonderbolt's captain. She certainly had her priorities in the wrong place, but that doesn't mean that she should never make another appearance. I'm actually hoping to see Lightning Dust take part in MLP's future. It seems too soon for her story to come to an end. And I think that a future appearance from Lightning could lead to a good episode. So, we can see possibilities for growth with Rainbow Dash's character in MLP's future, both with being a mentor to Scootaloo and a possible appearance from Lightning Dust. However, I think these elements could be made much more powerful if we combine them into a single story. Taking these three characters and creating a tale where each of them have to get through a struggle. So, allow me to propose another possible episode that I hope to see in MLP's future. We know that Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash have managed to open up a little to each other. But I still think there is potential for growth here, as Rainbow Dash still has a bit of an insensitive side to her. I think it would be fairly easy for her to be a mentor to someone who idolizes her, but I have to wonder just how willing she would be if Scootaloo didn't think the world of Rainbow Dash. Even though we have seen Rainbow Dash helping Scootaloo with her flying, I can foresee a situation where Scootaloo is looking forward to future lessons and Rainbow deciding that she is too busy doing more important things and putting off spending time with Scootaloo. That would certainly fit with what we know about Rainbow's character and create a bit of conflict with Scootaloo. Scootaloo may be attempting to do some more flying on her own while getting less than desirable results. 
and end up spotting lightning dust tearing through the sky, trying to push herself ever harder in proving that she is better than anyone. And with Scootaloo needing help in her flying and feeling a little ignored by Rainbow, I could see her asking Lightning for help. And with Lightning being so similar to Rainbow Dash in many ways, it would be easy to see her enjoy a little admiration from a fan. And through it all, I could imagine that neither one of them would suspect that the other knows anything about Rainbow Dash. In contrast to how Lightning Dust acted in Wonderbolt Academy, I can imagine that her experience with Spitfire would perhaps have humbled her a great deal. She would still have the drive to overcome any obstacle, but may in fact have learned to help others along the way. In Scootaloo's eyes, this would make Lightning Dust a little different from what Scootaloo knows about Rainbow Dash. While still idolizing Rainbow and wanting to be more like her, I can still imagine Scootaloo being the kind of filly who feels so desperate for help in learning how to fly that she'd be willing to take lessons from someone else who seems just as talented as Rainbow Dash. And all would be going well between them, too. That is, until they would be discovered by Rainbow Dash. Rainbow would be immediately distrusting of Lightning's intentions, and even be a little protective of Scootaloo given what Rainbow knows about Lightning's methods. Lightning would likely still have many hurt feelings about her experiences at the Wonderbolt Academy, but if she was actually trying to change for the better, it would be understandable that she would take offense from Rainbow not giving her any more chances. And in the middle of it all, I can see Scootaloo feeling like the two ponies that she had come to appreciate and idolize were not giving her a chance to make her own choices. This would be the moment where Scootaloo actually realizes that Rainbow Dash is not as perfect as she had made her out to be. Rainbow would believe that she is making the right choice in keeping Scootaloo away from Lightning. Lightning would believe that she is making the right choice by trying to help someone else become better, instead of focusing only on herself anymore. And Scootaloo wouldn't understand why these two ponies kept fighting with each other. It would make for an interesting conflict that would give all three of them a chance to grow. And it would create a situation where you could argue that any one of them could be in the right. But this story would become all the more potent if Scootaloo was the one who was actually teaching Rainbow the lesson. Rainbow has shown us before that she can be stubborn, especially if she thinks that she is in the right. This would be an excellent opportunity for Rainbow here, because she would have to realize that the young filly who had idolized her for so long had lost some of her faith in Rainbow. It would create a very defining moment for Rainbow Dash, having to put aside her own feelings to actually give Lightning another chance, at the behest of Scootaloo who would be helping Rainbow to be more empathetic. Idol worship is often fraught with disappointment and disenchantment. It must be approached with maturity and understanding that imperfections do not make them any less a hero. Those in the limelight need to also realize that nobody is an island. There is a great deal of good that heroes can do off-camera. If they allow themselves some humility and accept the fact that they can both teach and learn from those that admire them, then the good influence spreads. This seems like the kind of slice-of-life episode that would fit quite well into MLP. It would create a closer bond between Rainbow Dash and Scootaloo. It would allow Lightning Dust the opportunity to redeem herself and work her way back into getting a second chance with the Wonderbolts. And it would help Rainbow Dash to put aside some of her stubbornness, as she would be learning a lesson from the young filly who has idolized her. What do you think? Do you want to see the bond between Rainbow and Scootaloo continue to grow? Do you think there is potential for Lightning Dust to redeem herself? Would this kind of episode work within the slice-of-life format that MLP uses? I would like to hear your thoughts on this story idea, and let us all look forward to seeing more of Rainbow Dash in the future. I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.